Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so the big news in boxing yesterday was a, a formally announced. We, we, we've kind of been anticipating the news for you know about a week or so now. It's been a rumor that's been floating around out there in boxing, but. Subaru Matias, the, 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 the boogeyman of 140, you know, he has been able to secure those big fights with the big names in the division. He finally gets a little bit of backing, a little bit of promotional muscle behind him as uh, they finally announced the fact that he has signed a deal with, with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing. So now he's, a, he's an Eddie Hearn fighter. And truth be told, like I know people have their, you get mixed reviews on Eddie Hearn. Some people think he's the best promoter in the game. Some people think he can't promote at all. Um, I think he's a good promoter, and I think, you know, in this particular case, I, I really couldn't think of a better fit for Subriel Matias because one thing about it is, you know, Eddie Hearn, I don't think he's ever had a Puerto Rican fighter ever as far as the guys he's promoted that, that had the kind of entertainment value that Matias brings to the table. And I just think that when you look at where Matias is at in his career, you know, and look where Eddie Hearn is at in his promotional career, they're going to give each other – the best effort possible. I, I can't see Eddie Hearn going anything less than 150% for Matias. Matias is kind of someone that needs a bit of a mouthpiece, a guy that's going to speak and, you know, put the narrative out there about him. So it's, it, it's, it's real good. But um, here's what Eddie had to say about signing Matias. Well, I'll, re I'll read you the guys, the quotes, and then we'll dissect from there. Eddie stated the following, and I quote, I am delighted to welcome Sabriel to the team. Sabriel is one of the most exciting fighters on the planet, which with action guaranteed every time he fights. And as a world champion at 140 pounds, the fights out there for him are massive. Puerto Rico is a huge market for matchroom in the zone. And with Subiru joining Edgar Belanga and Yankee Rivera in our stable, we are looking forward to holding some huge events there, starting with Subiru's heroic, heroic return for the first time as world champion this summer. End quote. So there you have it. He's already telling you guys what we already knew, which is the fact that he's going back to Puerto Rico in the summer, which I think is great for him because when he was fighting with PBC, he really never got the opportunity. He was never afforded the luxury of fighting in like the island or other luxury or other Puerto Rican markets to really properly build himself as a star. He was fighting, you know, Minnesota. He was fighting in like, you know, just, just places where there's not really a big Puerto Rican population. So um, they're going back to the island this summer. Uh, we know that it's going to be more than likely Liam Paro, you know, good fighter, guy that's hungry to take that belt from Matias, top contender in the division. And um, yeah. Happy days, and, and the good thing about it is the DAZN 140 stable is, is big. I mean, they got a lot of guys at the, out there um, with the zone. I think him aligning himself with Eddie Hearn, who works with the zone, makes the, the big fights more, more realistic for him. You got guys like Ryan Garcia, Haney, Richardson Hitchens, Progress, Jack Catterall, Jose Ramirez, and the list goes on and on and on. So, um, yeah, happy for him because he hasn't had this backing at all, and um, I'm hoping that this could be the first step in, you know, making him a bigger star and 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 hopefully getting those big fights. Cause look, he's a champion. He's not like people like to talk about Subaru Matias like he's not a world champion. He is a world champion. And when he fights Liam Paro, it's gonna be his fifth undefeated fighter in his last six fights that he's fighting. So yeah, a lot of these guys he's fighting don't have the biggest names like the Jukumbayevs and the Ergushevs, but these are all live bodies, guys with undefeated records, dangerous. And you know, in the case of some of some of the guys I named. You know, deep amateur background. So they're not easy guys to beat, but he, he's making it look easy. So that's why they discredit the guys he's beating. But, um, yeah, I mean, happy days for him. And and the thing is, too, I mean, I, this is a bit of a long shot, but I've always kind of talked about this, which is the fact that uh, I know Eddie Hearn was talking to Jerron Ennis at one point, And, you know, I, I threw out the idea of maybe if Ennis can't get fights and they both sign with Eddie Hearn, maybe that winds up being a fight where they can meet in the middle and they could do it in Philly. You know, that's, that's a long shot. But, um who do you guys want to see Matias fight? I mean, I think there's a lot of good options. We know that he's not going to fight Richard Hitchens because um, Hitchens doesn't want to go the IBF route because he says that the IBF has a 10-pound rehydration clause, which he doesn't like. So he's, you know, and he respects Matias as a fighter, but he just feels like the weight is the, 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 the clause is too much. It's going to affect him too much to fight a guy like Matias. So the only way he's fighting Matias is if he goes another route and gets a belt and unifies or something like that. But you got him. Um, honestly, for me. Out of all the zone fighters that Eddie Hearn has, or that just the zone has, and Matchroom and Golden Boy, the, the most realistic fight I think out there for Matias 
should have get past Paro is Regis Progre because that was a fight when before Matias was champion and Regis was champion, Matias was screaming from the mountain top to fight Regis and Regis, you know, took forever to acknowledge him. And now the tables have turned. Regis is not a champion anymore. He's lost. He has that ambition to become three-time world champion. And um, now Matias has something he wants. So I don't think there should be any problems making that fight happen. And if there is any problems making that fight happen, then I'm going to have to be led to believe that it is Regis Progre because that's a fight that I know Matias has always wanted. And um, it's a great fight for the division. You know, they're both going to come forward. They're both going to throw a lot of punches. They're both going to try to take each other's heads off. I, I don't see why, why that can't get made later on in the year um, if he gets past Paul. But look, he's got to focus on Liam Paul. Liam Paul is is really good. I'm not sure if I would say Liam Paul is a harder puncher or a better boxer than the guys like, you know, Jukumbayev or Ergashev because those guys are really well experienced. But listen, he's been out here in Vegas for years sparring with guys like Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney. So I know I know from 2021 to now, Paro is has leveled up about four levels as a fighter. So um, that to me, once it gets signed and we have we have the official date for the summertime, that that's gonna turn into one of the more, for me personally, one of the more interesting matchups in boxing. And uh, the 140 division, I think, is gonna get better by this. Like, cause if left to their own vices, and Matias wasn't with Eddie Hearn, the the potential for him to get the big fights isn't gonna be there. You know, but at least now there's an increased chance that he at least can fight pro gray or honor barbosa jr or jose ramirez even if you can't get the big guys he can still get the notable names that that just that tier below so um let me know what you guys think super matias is officially a matchroom fighter he signs for eddie hearn uh, leave your comments down below make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just kiffin daniel so until next time take it guys thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure to subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.